slide. Okay. So um, can you hear me? Good. Thank you. So how many of you have heard of muscle tension dysphagia? Okay. Okay. Good. Sure. So um, I talked about having no money. So learning objective is to to introduce to you what muscle tension dysphagia is. And so we're gonna talk about theoretical framework, symptomology, and some of the treatment approaches. And um, the slides that I have provided to the course directors for your view are longer. Um, we recently gave a three hour lecture on this, so parsing down hundreds of slides to just a few was really difficult, so I decided to give you a slightly longer one. And um, if any of you ever want like a, in session or like a ground round, if you can get me there, I'll give you a really thorough um, education to your providers, okay? That, that is confirmed by my supervisors, okay? And so, um, what are we talking about? Uh, because people go, muscle tension, what, you know? And then um, when, I, when patients come to me, it's usually, I don't have a speech problem. Why am I here seeing a speech therapist? And I have to go through whole education as to what muscle tension dysphagia is. So if you can do me that favor and tell the patients, that'd be great. Okay. And um, so we're talking about dysphagia in the ENT setting. Okay, now um, everybody's referring patients to ENT for just simple swallowing problem and people from gastroenterology, pulmonology, allergy, all our colleagues in other fields. Because ENT, we are all jack of all trades and very good at everything, okay? And um, this diagnosis came about because Dr. Lad and I, we started to observe um, in clinic, so many patients coming in where I can't swallow, but they have normal swallow study. And in GI, EGD, and all the testing, there's nothing wrong with them. And then they have to go see specialist after specialist, wasting a lot of time, money, frustration. If they were never anxious to begin with, by now they're very anxious because they don't know why they are not having a good time swallowing. And then um, we just observed that this normal swallow study, but in the laryngoscopy, they have a lot of laryngeal muscle tension and a lot of them had what we call laryngeal hypersensitivity or hyperresponsiveness. And it manifests as chronic cough, vocal cord dysfunction, just simply feeling lump in the throat or just um, having dysphonia, but that's not a problem to them. So they never address the dysphonia. And so we conducted a retro retrospective study, 18 months, and then um, we identified patients with idiopathic functional dy um, dysphagia with normal swallow studies. Based on that, we reviewed a lot of swallow studies, nearly 600, and identified six, seven, 67 patients, most of them